god, it's so creepy. But we're back to playing Inscription, the, well, creepy deck building card battler, battler, battler game where uh, things are just going on inside the game, outside the game. How is he not lit up? There's a candle right here. What is causing this darkness? Oh, shoot. oh my god. I guess the candle is a lot further away than it looks. Actually, it's close to me, but pretty far from him. We still have this puzzle to unlock. I don't quite get it. I need to do here. Our tail goes to the right. Two out of five. So I, can, I have to solve this challenge to get another card out of here. But what we did notice from our last round was that this wolf was free. You may remember from one of these boxes, I received the caged wolf, and I played it, and they attacked it, and the wolf got free. It seemed to have a real-world effect by opening up this previously caged wolf. That is so scary. My goodness. That is so scary. <laughs> it's having that be the thumbnail. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. Just him looking. Oh my god. Um, it actually broke open this caged wolf in real life. Everything is having real life consequences. So let's take this wolf, see what happens. Oh, what can I do with him? I can. I can. Oh, I can put the caged wolf in this little. Oh yeah, that's, look, it's like on a little pedestal. He, he goes in there. Uh, nothing. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. What can I do with the special dagger? Oh, it's it was added to my to the collection over here, right? That wasn't there before. I like that sound. Enough. You can't use that presently. What if I just keep doing it? I wonder what that special dagger does. Maybe that means I could like instantly kill a boss or something. I gotta figure out this puzzle. If, so this is one damage here. So this, it creates a tail. So if I were to attack, so maybe I need to put this here. So it blocks it. So this would be one damage, two damage. This would hit it, it wouldn't die, it would create a tail. I'm gonna see if it like, so. That does one damage. I would kill him and move him to the right. Two. Just move it to the right. Is that what the tail does? Let's check, check the rule book again, real quick. Where is. Uh, 
is it still moves to the right? Is it its right or my right? I think it's its right. Oh wait, no, we we did this one already. So I need it. Okay, so uh, that deals one damage. That deals one damage. That deals a damage, but it doesn't actually deal a damage because it would then uh, absorb it, move to the right, and block that damage. So one damage, two damage only. But why isn't this doing? Why isn't this one doing damage? Shouldn't this do three straight damage? Or it's one, two, tail blocks it, moves to the right. And that's I think it does move to its its right. I block it with this. So maybe we we're trying to get it to like attack. It's like empty space. We uh, wait. We don't want that one to attack. Wait, what? I honestly don't even know what I did. <laughs> what? That dealt five. So this deals. Oh, I get it now because this. Lizard, and then it uh, caused it to move, blocking this, blocking this. But by hitting this one that deals one damage, it comes back and it kills the card, so it never attacks the lizard. And it attacks one, two, and then a free three attack over here. Oh, I get it. Without having met her. This wood carving is meaningless. What does that mean? In time, you will understand its powers. Met who? I don't. I don't know. Okay, I guess we just gotta keep playing. Okay, well. So let's advance then. Let's draw a card. Oh, I can use it each time. Oh, that's great. Kaminsky. One bone. That's a person. It only costs one bone. They, they go in front of someone and just take the damage. Elk moves over. Moose buck. Uh, do I want Kaminsky for one? Just to take a damage back to him, that might be kind of nice. For only one bone, I mean, that's nothing. I don't like, I don't really like the ones that move, because I like to be, well, and actually, I'm trying to get one that, that doesn't die, so I'm going to respin. Loose Buck, Sparrow, Lewis. It moves over, and it's waterborne now. These are actually worse. Do I have to take a card? Uh, I probably should have taken the last one. Other victims of his, it seems. I mean, I guess I could like spawn the... I feel like that's so... It just pushes. It doesn't so much help, but it moves, so you can't like, reliably block it, I guess. Sparrow flies over, Lewis moves over and dives under. I don't really like either of these, honestly. Ugh, I should have taken that first one. Okay, so I have some options here. I 
can remove a card from my deck. Oh, I still haven't drawn my mirror. Remove a card from my deck. I can do one of the upgrades or I can power one up. Like I could put the death adder. Whoa, imagine putting like the death adder on like the gag, just instantly killing one card. Um, but actually it's pretty good, three health. It's not bad. Like, okay, yeah, I'm trying to see like what I would level up. Or I can put the pack rat on when I play it. I get an item, I could put it like on the gag or something. That'd be nice. So I don't have to spend two credits. I can just get an item every time I play a gag. Or like some other card, like every time I play a, I don't know, something else. <laughs> or I could level one of them up. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting like a bunch of just other cards. I don't necessarily, like, I, I don't even know if I've seen the Long Elk. Wait, what? Stinkbug is now a woman. The sto wait, wait, Stinkbug. It's not a Stinkbug anymore. Stinkbug is a woman. What the heck? Uh, okay. I'm gonna pat crap on the opossum. That could be pretty good. Yeah, let's let's do the sacrifice because it deletes a card and also makes one better. So yeah, pack rat. I could do a fly on one of them. That could be good. I like doing damage to the creatures more often than not, though. Let's, yeah, let's sacrifice the pack rat. Because it costs two, uh, two um, to get the benefit of using an item, but we can. What can we give the pack rat to? I think easy, like we can give it to the opossum. It only costs two bones to get an item. That's really nice. I think I still want to keep the gek around for if I get something really good. Like, uh, uh, like, like the infinity one where it always comes back to my hand. I really, really hope I get that. Because it's basically a free pigeon. Pigeon what? A free squirrel every round. So let's give it to, uh, the possum. Only two bones. The opossum's a pack rat now. Okay, now it's another one of those. Fancy battles. Yeah. Now they all have the tails to them. What does this knife do? A special dagger. I will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. I'll save that dagger for when it's too difficult. Oh, the mole. It strikes. The turkey vulture will fly over me. But I think that's actually pretty good because that means it won't actually attack and kill me. Or I can have the mole man defending it. So the mole will move around. Oh my god, I play the spaceman. I could like kill it. Almost in like one turn, actually. I could kill the mole or try to kill the vulture. Yeah, actually, let's, let's just spawn myself right now. I'm just gonna do so much damage initially. I might even win. <laughs> Easy. I'm too powerful. Oh my goodness, Spaceman is too powerful. Absolutely wow. Okay, well, I also.
also wanted to go back and try to pick a new card again. Um, oops. Which is why I wanted to to do this. The mole. Okay. I already have the mole man. The elk. The sparrow. I don't like any of those. Casey. Oh, the kingfisher. I hated playing against the kingfisher. That might be good for my own. It can't get hit if it just constant one damage. Okay, or what does Casey do? So Casey attacks each left and right, and if it takes damage, it deals a point back. Now that's that's not bad. Casey looks very disheveled. Kingfisher always deals one damage. Actually, I kind of like Casey then because. I can sacrifice this card too. That's what I probably will end up doing. Ooh, or putting the Kingfisher. Giving that to someone as well. Giving giving the, the Kingfisher um, ability to, uh, to to someone. The wolf, it can't die. It dives under and then attacks. Kingfisher ability would be very good to, to something that has high damage and low health. Maybe the wolf. Or Casey. So that's basically, that's what I did to this stoat. I haven't even seen the stoat in a while. My game's in too fast. It's that it takes damage and it attacks in two spaces. So I could have like the wolf do that attack in two spaces. Or Reginald. Or Reginald attack in two spaces. Oh, that would be really good if I could upgrade him because the instant kills, we can instant kill two things in, at once. Yeah, let's let's take Casey and uh, sacrifice. So this is another a boss battle here. Well, well first we're gonna get the pack. My pack's already full. Small critter approached. I uh, I do not want another pack rat. No, thank you. Oh, but look at how cute that little rat is. But I I don't want it seriously. I don't want it. Let me out. Let me out. Fine. Uh, I guess I had to take it. But okay. We have a new boss battle. Let's see if it's actually possible to kill this boss. Or... There might be some instant kill method to advance the plot. But man, it's a good plot, so honestly, I wouldn't be too mad. Except for that I would have to restart all my progress with this group of cards that I have right now, which would be sad. But let's see what this is. Looks like a dual knives and like a trapper or something. Yep. <sighs> Got the smoke. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. No, not the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, uh, but today you will supply the belts. No, trapper, why? Oh my goodness, there's knives everywhere. Oh, it spawns with... Strange frog. It's like metal frogs and metal traps. What a card. Oh. So. Okay, so. These strange frogs. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is the hourglass pauses the turn? 
I place a weight on the scale. The pain is temporary. That special dagger. I don't. Hopefully, I don't. Oh, I didn't want to draw this back, Red. Uh, I feel like I gotta take out these special frogs. I do two damage each. Let's put down a squirrel. Let's put it over here. The porcupine. The porcupine. Let's play that. So that way. one damage to it, and then when it attacks me, it will also die. There's lots of strange frogs coming. I need to do a lot more damage and fast. I could play the smoke. Maybe I should just play it. When it dies, I'll get, I'll get four bones from it. I'm curious to see anything happens. Alright, just get four bones. So many bones. So, I just got the bones. That was it. Okay. Fine. Oh, oh if I... If it dies, it creates a trap. And when that dies... Creature perishes as, as well. Oh my goodness, that's so hard. The creature opposing it perishes. I think that's the key. The creature opposing it perishes. So I think I need to get the bifurcating ones so I'm not actively opposing it. Okay, well, let's. Let's launch the bullfrog for now, just so I can start doing some more damage, get some bees. So it kills my porcupine. I come back and I get... Is it... Oh, ah, ah. Scales. This is wolf pelt. Okay, uh... Okay, okay. Long elk. Yes. I want the long elk. And then I want... I can put down the... A bee a belt. To stop it. So I'm gonna put down a... temporary that's going to fly over the trap and consistently do one damage. I'm going to put a pelt down here just to take some damage from the strange fog. And I am so curious about the long elk. So the bee dies, but that was fine. Okay, I think I need... Stink bug, okay. This is good, this is good. Stink bug only takes two bones. Look at that ravenous trap, so if I can keep doing damage to the side, I think will be good. So why stink bug's a woman now? That's. Let's, let's play stink bug over here. Shall we? Yes, yes you shall. I can't sacrifice a wolf belt. Okay. Yeah. Oh, long elk. Okay, okay, I need to... Oh, I need to kill that raven somehow. Ah, uh, porcupine. Raven just hitting me for two damn. Oh, I guess that will die to my long elk. So okay, this, this is fine. 
This is fine. Let's get everything in here, squirrel. Let's put down a wolf pelt for now. I don't really want the porcupine. I want to get something better. So let's have the long elk kill the raven. Strange fog will just attack the pelt. Stink bug will do damage. What's coming this way? Oh, the adder. It's going to... Oh, actually, this is perfect as well, because the the adder won't be able to do any damage, because Stinkbug is... Uh, prevents that. And my sparrow... The sparrow can fly over a trap, so that's pretty good. I still... I think we're still good here. I'm very, I'm scared for like the next phase two of this encounter. The long elk scares me. Um, A squirrel for next time. I guess I can put down a sparrow. Okay. Yeah, almost there. The adder does no damage. On my turn, actually, I should be able to deal enough damage that. Yeah, I'm gonna just draw another creature. Well, fine. I should be able to do enough damage to end this round. I'm not gonna place anything else on the board just yet in case the phase two destroys everything. Yeah, Trevor. Ah, ah, what the? Too fast, too soon. Oh, it's one of these. I am meant to die. Oh, man. Too fat. What? You're cheating. Trapper, you're cheating. It's gonna have to make me go through all three again. Trapper. Trapper, bad. Okay, okay. You know what? This is fine. This is actually fine because we're gonna do this. And we're gonna. No, I shouldn't waste my. Well, I completely restart, don't I? Oh, oh my goodness, I stabbed myself in the face. It weighs the scale. I stabbed myself in the eye with this special dagger. This is gonna fly over, it's gonna do one damage. Is that enough? Do we have another flying? I see now this is when I need flying creatures. I'm making a pass his next turn. And what is this black goat? I'm gonna sacrifice. Sacrifice. Squirrel, I need the sparrow to pass over it. Long elk is, I'm gonna sacrifice stink bug it in. Sorry, stink bug. Actually, you can come right back. Okay, you know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna break the game here. I I tore out my eye for this, but we're we're gonna do this actually. Long elk kills. Wait wait wait. Oh, oh of course it has the thing where it it I can't it it, it blocks airborne. So never mind, that wasn't worth it. But actually, he's passing. So the long elk is going to do damage here. A wolf. Okay, actually, actually, actually. Hold on. Sacrifice stink bug. Sacrifice the sparrow. Oh wait, no, I meant to sacrifice the long elk because I need to put it in its place. Oh my goodness. This long elk. Ah. Oh. I meant to 
it does not come by as long elk and put the wolf there, so it does three direct damage. <gasps> I did one! I won! I wasn't supposed to win, and I won. I was not supposed to win that. Right? Like, right? Because that was the cheating thing. To get me to, to die. So I can, like, do the plot. I guarantee to you I was not supposed to win that. But maybe that's what a special dagger, that's what it was, like, meant to be for. So I only needed to do one more damage to win. I tore out my eye. Oh. I've, I'm proud of myself. Oh, my God. Choose carefully. Mole man. I already have a mole man. Canine, hoofed, reptilian, feathered, insectoid. The amaglam is all a gek. I kind of want more gek or gek's running around. Oh, oh my. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. <laughs> this isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Oh, there's like different kinds of eyes. This one has a double vision. That one has two pupils. I mean, I gotta pick the one with two pupils, right? Oh my goodness. Better. Regardless of the choices, final. Trapper and traitor now bleeding into the snow. You persisted. Wow, I'm I'm feeling good. I feel like I wasn't supposed to beat that and I was gonna have to like die and then play through like you know get another character card or something and then play through. But man, oh yeah. You can see a light in the distance. Is near. Oh yes, I know. Whoa, a house. What is this? Is that his cabin? Okay, so that's the trader to sell belts. I don't have any belts. Items. I did use up two items, or I could combine. Oh yes, I want to combine cards. For sure. Because I wanted to sacrifice um, Casey. Attack in multi directions. And give it to like Reginald so he can kill instant, instantly in multiple directions. That'd be nice. I still haven't had a chance to use my, um, my tentacle guy. I've not even seen it yet. Reginald instant death in two directions. I guess long elk is the same. Three bones. Let's... Yeah, let's have Reginald instant death two directions. I'm sacrificing one previous victim to help another previous victim. There's one supposedly easy battle before this light, but is that really true? Is this really going to be not some sort of trick? Your eyes affixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely. Surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. I, this sounds like, um, it's not. Oh, the lights turned off. Oh, all the lights turned off. Uh, the moon. Oh, it's, we're now in first.
first person. Okay. And like I was saying at the beginning of this playthrough, this developer is known for just off the rails, crazy things happening, like breaking the fourth wall. Breaking the fourth wall. What is this? Okay, I'm in the game now. What is this? Steps away from the strange cabin. You were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you were able to pass my trials, you'll be rewarded mightily. Okay. The trial of the fin. The three drawn cards must include a card with a waterborne sigil. I don't think I have any of those. The trial of rarities. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. Oh no. I don't think I have any of those. No, I, this is this is a rig trial. Wait, eleven. What is this? <gasps> eleven on the table. This must mean set the clock to eleven. This is a doom trial. They did this on purpose. I don't. Do I have any with the? I don't have any that have. I know I don't have the sprinter because I don't like that. No, wait, the elk. I have the elk. Oh, okay. I have long elk. That's it. I don't know if I have any rare cards. I don't know if I have any fend cards. I'm gonna have to just hope for the long elk. Let the trial of the swift be not long elk. I pulled the long elk. <gasps> long elk is a card with the sprinter sigil. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I. Oh. I need it. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the goat's blood. You will start a battle with the black goat on the board. So that's like a free three sacrifice. Of the forest, you will start a battle with grid grand furs on all of your spaces. I guess that blocks it. I don't really like that. The boon of the bone lord, you will start a battle with eight bones. Oh, I don't like the furs. The black goat on the board, start a battle with eight bones. Having the, the black goat on the board and not just in my hand is very powerful because that means on my first turn, even if I don't need all three blood, I could sacrifice it to instantly spawn a two, uh, level two card. But I, I gotta do that. That's, yeah. We will repeat that once more. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to do... In the trial of the winged, the three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne. In the trial of the skins, the three drawn cards must include a belt card. I don't have one of those. The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Well, I don't have a ring. I don't have a belt. I gotta hope I get lucky with the trial of the, of the wind. Okay, trial of the winged. No. Yes. Yes, yes. Two of them. Ah, oh, Sparrow is a card with the airborne sigil. Success. Your choice of boons. The bone of, boon of the bone lord. Start a battle with eight bones. Okay. Of the magpie. 
mind's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Whoa, that seems so insane. Go to the forest, you will start a battle with Grand First on all your spaces. No. When you, like, any time you draw from your deck, you may just choose any card. That is insane, 100%. Oh, I think I got lucky with those. Unless it, oh my, got some bad. Uh oh, what? You managed to get both of my bones. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary. But unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. What? Do I get it? Run away. What? It automatically turned me around. Oh my god, if I back up. If I turn around. If I run the opposite direction. It, it automatically turns me around. Well, wait, 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 wait. Where did the cabin light go? It just turned black, and now the whole screen turned black. Is that... <gasps> That's my captor. Oh, look at it. Scraggly dude. You took your time out there. And I'm itching uh, for another game. Are you ready to play? Oh, I have to beat him now. Uh-oh. I hope you are adequately prepared. This is probably the final test. <sighs> okay. Perhaps one more to be safe. What? You can't do that? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. The boss battle. Got a black goat on the board. He has a mole man. Mantis God. Tri trifurcate his strike. It strikes each opposing space. Oh my god. Okay. Let me... Okay. I have an idea. Let's... Let's spawn... The smoke... And the squirrel so we can get the wolf so kill the squirrel kill the smoke smoke gives us that gives us the wolf by killing it um, by killing the smoke we got four bones we can use a long elk uh, spawn long elk which has the touch of death which means we'll be able to instantly kill no, wait, no, I should have put the, the, no, that's not going to work because, well, unless he gets all the strikes because he's going to move in front of the wolf now instead, and this may not work as I thought, that's okay, we, we, we will make it work, uh, Oh wait, no, because Mantis God's gonna come up and he's gonna kill my black goat. Dang it, actually. Oh, this wasn't great. Oh well. Oh, it does instantly kill him. Mantis God. Oh. Dang it. Okay, well. Mantis God, my goodness. I need a plan. Mantis God is going to kill my wolf. No, wait, no wolf's going to kill him. I, I, I need a plan. I need to get everything in one turn. I'm going to get a squirrel, spawn a black goat, and then get a high level creature from my deck. Yeah. I think if I can get Spaceman, this will work out just fine. Spots it, a black goat in my hand. Okay. Well, 
What? What? He just called. He just killed my guards right there. You can't. What the? Okay. Which card do I want? I want to get. save some of this. Oh, wait, the Mantis God's coming back. Okay, no, we're, we're gonna make this work. So Gek's gonna kill that. Oh, still, so he's gonna... What? Oh, wait, hold on, this is... Let's get... Reginald will spawn. Reginald can kill both of them instantly. That's pretty good. Um, Spaceman could also kill them both instantly. But I don't want him to take it. Reginald spawn fresh choice. But I'm gonna put down a squirrel just over here. Just so we can take the squirrel. Take the squirrel for free. Yeah. Okay. Reginald's gonna kill both of them instantly. I'm gonna take my squirrel. Doesn't matter, it's just gonna take up a space, if anything. Okay, okay, uh, um, let's just get a squirrel, let's just do some damage, what does this person do, whoa, oh, actually they have that insane guard, but Reginald's just gonna kill him, so honestly, not worried, okay, let's pull, I can get a pack rat, get a free item. Or if I can have, do I have a flying card? I can just put over the rat. Yes, my vulture. I don't have enough bones though. Uh, so let's do. Is there an easy way to get bones? Do more sacrificing, but. Let's do Sparrow for now. Sparrow will... Oh, I need a sec. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Squirrel. Sparrow, that way Sparrow can just continually be doing one attack over the Squirrel. Um, okay. Okay. I think there's, there's definitely a chance here. No, oh, but it's going to do seven damage to me instantly. I have to do... S something to block it. Actually, I, I should have put... Oh, shoot. This was a bad idea. I should have put... So I need to put something here to block it, or else it's gonna die. I should have put the sparrow over there. That's okay. Well... I'm sorry, sparrow. I, that way, just the, the girl eye doesn't automatically kill me. Wolf belt, trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay in the fight for me. Okay. Wait, I, 
can trade the wolf belt, I can get one of theirs. Oh, can I take his Earl Eye? Heck yeah. Okay, nice. Let's get... I want to keep the Black Goat's worth three if I can get a Squirrel Spotted Black. Oh, my Adder's going to kill Reginald. But I can do... Spawn a Squirrel. Spawn the squirrel. Use the squirrel to spawn the black goat. Use the black goat and the porcupine to spawn your ally here. Do seven damage to him. Yeah. The sh yes. One card goes out. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship by gathered by guilt they were betraying you. I remember that one fondly. I see. They are this past victims coming to life. I think a uh, Uli with um, extra damage can kill both of them. Okay. Okay, okay. This is no problem. I think... How many, how many bones do I have? One, two, three, four, five... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many bones does it cost? For the Vulture, eight. Uh, not quite enough. Well, maybe I could just spawn the opossum and get an item that could be very useful. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's get the opossum. Occupied by a creature, it will strike directly. 
at the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sexual will pull small creatures into its orbit. Is an opossum a small creature? Well, sounds like I need to start doing more damage to it. So let's put what do I need to draw. Um, I oh, well, this will instantly kill it, right? It will perish. Hopefully. So I need I'm gonna sacrifice the opossum. And the squirrel, so let's put the squirrel down. Create spaceman here, so we can attack twice. A boss, we can only attack once. And sacrifice the porcupine for the opossum in case the opossum is a small creature that would get sucked in. I think it's small, well, we'll see. That way, when he attacks, he'll also take one damage. I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot. Ah, oh, Reginald, yes, just instantly killed it. <laughs> you really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. I did it. The flame went out. Did I just... I think I just beat him! Oh. What? It was like someone... What was that? It was like a real life someone... Cam works. Thank you.